Hello people of the internet, welcome to another smart home video. Um, now, some of you who've watched my previous videos will know I've got some IKEA Trud Fry smart bulbs. Um, and this video is about how you can control them using the um, Echo Dot, using the Alexa commands, um, or with the Google Home saying, hey Google, turn on my hallway lights, in, for my example. Um, now, this is not a native skill for either the Alexa or Google Home. Um, you need smart things for it. Um, however, it is pretty easy to set up. And this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, I'm definitely not the first person to have figured this out. Um, there are, there's loads of forums with posts on how to do it um, on the internet. You can find them with a quick Google search. Um, however, there's no videos that I've found so far showing you how to do it. So um, if you've got Trud Fry smart things and you want to know how to do it, uh, watch this video and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is start up your smart things app and go and click to add a thing. Um, now, once you've clicked on add a thing, it will start looking for devices. Now you need to go and turn your trad fry light on and off six times really fast. And when you're done, leave it on and the bulb will flash. Um, that's when it's kind of uh, it's reset and it's sending out its uh, Zigbee detect signal. Um, once you've done that, uh, smart things will detect it um, and then you can name it whatever you want. I called my trad fry bulb one and try to fry bulb two in this example um, and once you've done that you can then go on to the next step okay so once you've got your device detected what you need to do is uh, come over to this uh, page on github um, I'll include the link on this in the video description uh, but basically what this is is some code by the user Edval de Steinson um, which is basically uh, a device handler um, that he's created for the IKEA Trad Fry. Um, I've got no idea what any of this does, but trust me, you don't need to. All you need to do is copy and paste this code into a SmartThings device handler. So once you've got that, then you need to go to your SmartThings um, uh, kind of developer area if you like okay so you need to come and create a new device handler now this is on the smartthings.com page you need to log in um, and come to your your page on here uh, click on my device handlers and then click create new device handler um, now on the here you click on the from code tab and the code we've just got from the other page we just copy and paste it in here then click create when you're done hit create and there we go um, just hit save and then click publish and then click for me and you're done on on that page so if we go back to devices so my devices let's click on the trad fry bulb and on here this has got all the information about your uh, particular bulb if you go on edit and then where it says uh, type find ikea trad fry from that list select it click update and then you're done you can then um, discover devices uh, through Alexa um, you can refresh your smart things uh, set up on Google Home and then you're good to go you can control your trad fry lights Alexa turn on the hallway light okay hey Google turn on the hallway lights sure turning two lights on hey Google Turn off the hallway lights. Sure, turning off two lights. 
So that's it guys, hope you liked it. Um, I was excited about doing this video. Um, the main reason is because the trad fry uh, bulbs that you get from Ikea are uh, pretty cheap compared to its competitors. So you can get a, a basic bulb for nine pound um, and you can get some packages um, with motion sensors and dimmer switches and remotes, etc. as well. The only downside, um, which I would have shown you in the video is that once you've got it connected with smart things, you seem to lose the ability to control it through the, the IKEA TradFry app. Uh, however, for me, that's not an issue. I'd much sooner control it um, through Alexa or Google Home. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share, because I really appreciate it. Thank you.